3.46.02 the time to beat, 3.47.06 in silver, 3.54.14 currently the bronze. On the outside lane there, that looks like Melbourne Grammar having a real red hot go on the inside. Probably the pick here will be Brighton Grammar School who have to do the chasing to get in amongst the medals. So Brighton are leading at the moment. They're on the inside. On the outside of them is Ballarat High School and also Melbourne Grammar C. So Ballarat, sorry, uh, Brighton are leading. They're probably the best chance here to challenge for a medal. There's not many A teams in this fourth of the time finals. Brighton, one of those. Ballarat also up there. They are also an A team. The, the uh, Melbourne Grammar team is a C team, and they're really serving it up to the A teams here. But you'd anticipate that they won't have the firepower to match some of the lead teams being a C. So Br Ballarat looking quite strong here. Has the decision to make to either sit or go past Brighton Grammar. Brighton is moving nicely. So Ballarat has taken the lead, looking strong, looking powerful as he comes into that last 100 metres. It's Ballarat high leading from Brighton. Melbourne C. Then we have the Wesley C team. So 147 at the changeover as they go through. So we're going to need a 159 split from Ballarat to try and get in to the gold medal position, 159 required. So Ballarat High now best position to try and challenge for a medal, but they will require a 159 through to about a 207, 208 to try and get into the medals. So 2.51 with one lap to go, a 62 second last lap will probably get them in the medals. Well, I can't see that necessarily happening, I can't see the stride pattern being quick enough there to do a 62. Melbourne Grammar, this has been one of the best runs I've seen all night from this C team from Grammar. They're really, really going strongly and the potential here to win this race. So Ballarat, I think, is done and dusted. Melbourne Grammar and now Brighton. Brighton, the other fancy choice here, they are an A team. Going stride for stride. But Ballarat obviously heard that and he's picked up his pace again. But Brighton have taken the lead. Melbourne Grammar goes with him. 200 to go. Brighton, Melbourne, Ballarat. Gap then back to Wesley. Clock now ticking up to 3.40. Can't see any of these teams now featuring in the medals. 3.54.14 required for the bronze. So it's a race in free and Ballarat are back again, so he's not going to give up. Strong running here. Looks like Ballarat might take bragging rights from the fourth of our time finals, but hats off also to the Melbourne Grammar C team. 402-87. Great running there. Good team running. <laughs>